Lee Bowery. If ever there was someone that was impossible to categorize, then Lee Bowery is that person. He's kind of fashion, art, performance art, pop music, pop culture, contemporary dance, muse, all sorts of things, all rolled into one. But above all, he was a total one-off, the like of which the world will never see again. Just have a look. Why do I want to provoke? I think I might have to get back to my parents on this point. <laughs> my parents, unfortunately, belong to the Salvation Army in Australia. And um, they're very, very sort of ordinary and um, very sort of orthodox sort of people. My, my mother's especially religious, and um, my father is, after meeting her. And my sister as well. All three, oddly enough, um, are social workers. It's now a bit of a um, paradox in itself. So maybe that's got something to do with it. Maybe I've got a special problem. Since leaving his native Australia nearly six years ago, Lee Bowery has carved out a bizarre niche for himself on London's fashion scene. He's made a career out of his exhibitionism and created a lifestyle in which the street has become an extension of the catwalk. You in a blaze of light. Lee first got seriously noticed as a designer three years ago, since when he's constantly changed his style. In each look, the makeup plays as central a part as the clothes. The There's only one Lee Bowery, but he has plenty of friends who share his view of the world. London seems boringly straight compared to the twilight world which Lee and his kind inhabit. They're creatures of the night, and that's when they come into their own. Today is an exception, because in broad daylight, Lee and I are off to London Fashion Week. Ah, so that's where Lady Gaga gets all her ideas from, I hear you say. Well, you wouldn't be that far off if that's what you're thinking. In fact, Lee Bowery influenced a lot of people, including Madonna, Michael Clark, Alexander McQueen, Vivian Westwood, Boy George, and probably most surprisingly, he was a muse to the great Lucian Freud, grandson of Sigmund Freud, and legendary British artist. One of the works here that totally changed my mind about art in general was a painting of Lee Bowery by Lucian Freud. When it first came into the museum, I thought it was disgusting. I thought it was awful. It was a lump of lard and not what the museum should have at all. And a colleague of mine said, every morning, walk through the gallery where the painting is installed. Don't stop, don't focus, just walk through the galleries. And by the end of the week, I was walking much more slowly. A Couple of weeks after that, I was spending a lot of time looking at this particular painting. And the more I think about it, the more I love it. Is he turning his back to us because he feels he has nothing to prove? Is he turning his back because he doesn't like us? Is he turning his back because he feels so comfortable with us that he can turn his back? on us, that he trusts us not to say snide things behind his back. The relationship that he had with the painter, he and Lucian Freud were very, very good friends. Was he complicit in posing the painting? I've thought about this painting a lot, and the more I think about it, the more I think it's one of the most wonderful paintings and portraits I've ever seen. And I've tried not to make the first impression I have of an artwork my last impression. Mr. i
Yeah.